Hi, this is Blessing Makosha Park and you're watching the Blessing at the Bar series in collaboration with lawcareers.net. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between a gateway chambers and a non-gateway chambers, what that means for your pupillage applications and why you need to be very careful to check the deadlines for your individual chambers that you're applying to. So the difference between a gateway and a non-gateway chambers is quite simple. A gateway chambers is one that advertises its pupillages on the pupillagegateway.com. The pupillage gateway is a website portal that is where chambers advertise for pupillage and it's organized by the bar council and it essentially contains pupillage vacancies, standard form questions, information about the pupillages, you're allowed to bookmark your chambers, you do your applications on there. So just consider it as the UCAS of pupillage. Um, not every chambers advertises on this gateway though and that is why you have non-gateway chambers. Non-gateway chambers accept applications in the traditional way, that is a direct application to chambers. So what this means for you applying for pupillage is that some of the chambers you apply to may be on the gateway and some of the chambers that you apply to may be off the gateway and what you need to do is A know that soon B, make sure that you check the individual deadlines for the non-gateway chambers. The chambers on the gateway all have the same deadline of 7th of February. Some non-gateway chambers will also have the 7th of February deadline, but some of them will have a deadline that's later than that, and some of them will have a deadline that's earlier than that. Some chambers who are non-gateway don't even recruit at the same time frame as um, other gateway chambers. They may recruit in September or they may recruit in summer. So you need to have a look at the individual chambers and do not let your applications get missed or compromised because you weren't aware of this. Make sure you set this out for yourself early and that you've had time to have a look at this and to figure out what the individual applications are for the different chambers and look at the questions because gateway chambers and non-gateway chambers can ask any types of questions but non-gateway ones can tend to require a lot of time to actually craft the form because there's a lot more data that you have to manually enter. I hope that was helpful and don't forget to click that red button and subscribe to the lawcareers.net YouTube channel and click www.blessingatthebar.com for my blog for aspiring barristers and be sure to join the mailing list for a new blog post every Thursday and follow me on Twitter and Instagram it's at be at the bar on Twitter and blessing at the bar on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video bye